Rhymebill is now online. Hey guys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to center a div and another using CSS. Let's go! Alright, so here I got my HTML page all set up. Up top I got my header, and down below I got my outer div, my inner div, and I have some text inside my div. And down below I got my style sheet, and this styling is not for centering, this styling is just for pure looks. Just to make the page look kind of nice. Okay, so now we're done with that, let's have a look at what our page looks like. So now we can see we have a purple box and our inner div is not centered in that purple box. Well, I'm going to show you how to center it. So if we go back to our page, we scroll down to our style tag and in our inner div, what we can do here is create a centering tag. It's pretty easy. All you have to type in is margin zero auto. And what this tag does is it centers our div horizontally in our purple div. Let's have a look. Well, what if you wanted to center your inner div vertically too? Well, it's a bit of a challenge because there are a couple rules you need to follow. First rule is the height and width of your purple div, which is your outer div, has to have a pixel value. So if we go ahead and test this, go back to our web page, and you see when we scroll in or out, our div remains constant. Awesome. All right, so if we go back to our inner div and our CSS, what we can do is change our margin from zero to a percent or pixel value. And we use 10% for this one. You can use whatever value you want, depending on how centered you want it to be. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the simpler method, which is using Flexbox. Flexbox is basically does the math for you, so you don't need a guess. So let's erase this margin nonsense and go to our outer div, type in display flex, and then we want to justify our content center, and then we want to align our items center. And that basically does it all. So if we go back, you should now see that our inner div is centered in our purple box. Awesome. And that's basically all you need. And the best part about using Flexbox is that your outer div doesn't need a fixed height or width. You can use percent values, you can change the values, and no matter what, our inner div is always going to be centered. Awesome. And that's how I do it, guys. That's how to center a div and a div. Until next time, rumble out.